Alright guys, Excel users, it's 8.06 p.m. on Saturday, I was talking with a client here, we're kind of looking at something, and it's basically a dynamic cell reference to define a range that you want to be based on a certain cell. So let's say you have um, whatever tab you want to reference, say you're, you've got a start and an end row here, You just those could be determined by something else, or you could just put them in however you want. Let's say it's um, your start row is row 10, your end row is row 20. So first we want to get those on the same page or we could reference them directly in our main formula but it's easier to kind of break it apart. So you know what you just put them in right here indirect. This indirect pulls off the tab name blue and then finds this cell and gives you the reference. So you've got 10 there, 20 there. Um, now, the reason why you, you know, in this situation, it doesn't seem necessary, but it could be based on your own situation. So we're pulling our start and end rows there. Then let's say I want to dynamically sum up between rows A10 and A20. Well here's this formula indirect it's pulling the uh, range it's trying to pull a, a sum range so normally in sum you just do you know sum a10 to a20 well here we're indirectly defining um, what the number is what the row number is and we're directly putting in, now this could also be a cell reference, but we're directly putting in A because we're in, working in column A. So indirect column A and then we're referencing C10. So that's saying sum up A10 and then we just got a regular colon like a normal sum formula and then you're going indirect A20. And let's say we wanted to change that to only sum up to the twelfth row. We'll put twelve in here. Go back to the summary. And now look, it changed. It's now only summing up without having to directly put a sum on these. Uh row one or ten and eleven, which is oh, and twelve. Which is five thousand one twenty one. Um so that was interesting. Hopefully that'll help uh some people set up their projects uh, or or their references better and you can use these indirects in all kinds of situations but that's just the general logic behind how to pull or reference a range in a column dynamically alright this is smarthelping.com have a good day